Hello and welcome back. Today I'm demonstrating the new colour match feature um, first introduced in Photoshop Elements 2024. It can be accessed from the advanced mode and also the quick mode. So I'm going to go to the quick mode to, be to begin with and it's found under this um, effects tab and as you can see we have all these um, presets or LUTs, that's lookup tables, for various color transfer. This is based on the Creative Cloud version of um, Photoshop where it's found under the neural filters and it's called color transfer. In Photoshop Elements it's called color match although it uses the same color transfer as the full version of Photoshop. Uh, an image that I've got open in the photo bin and it's this one of um, an audience participation. And um, basically these presets are, are just one click. So if I click on this one here called Lilac, and um, you can see it gets applied instantly to the photo. We have these um, different um, sliders for affecting saturation, hue and brightness. I tend to concentrate on the saturation and the brightness sliders. You can push the hue slider all the way to the left or all the way to the right and um, it can have some interesting colour shifts, particularly on clothing or other um, prominent subjects in your photo. So again, you can just click through these and they will change and update straight away and you can see the kind of effects that you, um, that you get with this um, facility. I'm going to go back to this one called Lilac. As you can see, there's several um, uh, to choose from, and uh, if you hover over the, um, you get a pop-up, sh you know, showing what um, the title of each one is. Um, I'm going to go back to this lilac one, which I quite like, and I'm going to just in increase the um, brightness to make it more dynamic. And uh, sometimes these just take a little bit of time to update, and you can see the um, the progress as I push up the. Um, the slider. I think that's going to do for this image. I quite like how that looks and um, I will save it. Um, I'll now show you on another example using the uh, using the advanced mode. I've now jumped over to the advanced mode and um, have this uh, sunset photo open and again I'm going to go to the effects tab at the bottom here and it opens in the last palette I was using, which was the artistic filters. If I click on artistic, I can choose color match from the pull down menu and I get the same filters that were available in the quick mode. And again, you know, I can just click on one. And one of the beauties of using the advanced mode is that we can use the layers panel. And you can see that a color transfer layer has been automatically created by Adobe. And this gives us um, several other options. So let's go back to the effects again. And one, what you can do in the advanced mode, unlike the quick mode, is import your own photo. So I have a similar um, sunset photo, which I'm going to bring in. And it's this one here. And it's got a little bit more orange uh, tones to it. So using my own photo, we can increase the saturation a little bit if we wanted to. Um, and that's too much, I think, so I need to back that um, that off. But it's an improvement on the original image. If I go back to the um, Layers panel, um, if I click on the eyeball to take that off, you can see the difference that it's, um, that it's made. Um, one of the other things we can do in the Layers panel is that we can uh, play around with the blend mode. So um, if we wanted to um, use some of the darken blend modes like multiply, you could do that and say that has a dramatic effect. You may even want to lighten. Uh, that makes it more like the original. Uh, something like soft light usually works quite well and I quite like that. And um, also um, linear light usually has a good effect but again far too dramatic for my liking. But you get the idea, you can play around with these um, with, with these blend modes. And also one other thing you can do in the advanced mode in the layers palette is you can change the opacity, pushing it all the way to the left will remove it and show remove it completely. 
and you can gradually move it to the right to bring in the colour transfer technology until you get something to your liking. So I'll leave it there. I think um, that has overdone it a little bit, but um, it's just for the purpose of this um, demo. So that's the new um, colour match technology in Photoshop shop elements. Uh, have a play around with it and um, see what you can come up with. Thanks for watching and bye-bye. Thank you.